The following short video will take you through the features and benefits of our new Dashboard 2 reporting platform, supporting you in delivering quickly the actionable insight from Hitwise in a clear, digestible format. Using a template dashboard we have created called the Power of Facebook, this video will show you how to start using the new features within your own reporting to deliver even more valuable competitive insight to your wider business. So what's new to Dashboard 2? The live example I'm about to run through buckets the new enhancements into four key areas. Firstly, we've added new functionality to all Hitwise reports that allows you to quickly add the insight to a new or existing dashboard on the fly. This not only saves you time building new reports, but provides the flexibility to add new reports to your dashboard that will shed even more light into your market trends or your competitors' movements. I'll show you how to add commentary to your dashboard, helping to better communicate key trends and recommendations around the team. Our new editing feature shows you how to quickly edit the filters of a specific module within your dashboard, helping to reflect changes in your online competitive landscape, such as monitoring a new competitor or changing the time frame to see year-on-year -year performance. And finally, I'll show you how to either copy or share your Insight dashboard to the wider team or to someone outside your business, such as an advertiser, affiliate or someone at your agency. Actionable one-stop reporting functionality. So this is the new look and feel of Dashboard 2, each made up of multiple modules that will display a key insight or trend. You can easily add new modules to your report, as well as edit and reposition an existing one. Each module contains a title, the insight itself, and an annotation field. You can also choose to edit or delete the module or drill through to the full report. Adding a new module to your dashboard is now even easier. For any report within Hitwise, you will now see a new button called Add to Dashboard. You can either add the selected report to a new dashboard or publish to an existing one, as shown here. Add comments, findings and recommendations. Dashboards 2 allows you to personalise your reports even further. For each module, you can now add your own title to ensure it speaks your language, but more importantly, you can add annotations to the report, helping to highlight key trends or recommendations. Add, amend or remove filters in a report. We've also enhanced the way you can quickly edit or modify a module once it's been added to Dashboard. In this example, the module is showing visits from Facebook to Play, Argos and Tesco's over the past 12 weeks. To monitor this trend over a longer period, simply click on the time frame filter as shown here. Another way to amend a module is to use the edit button. In this example we're looking at the top banking websites receiving traffic from Facebook. Once you've clicked on the edit button, a window will pop up giving you the following options. You can change the time period to daily, weekly or monthly, run the report historically, or if you wanted to see the top recipients of traffic from Facebook to your own competitors, simply select the custom category as shown here. Distribute the actual insight to the wider team. Finally, once you've built your dashboard, it's important to share the insight to the wider team. To do this, click on the Distribute button. You can either copy the dashboard to one of your colleagues that already owns a Hitwise license, as shown here,
Or alternatively, you can enter the email address of someone that sits outside your business that would like to see the report. For example, an advertiser or affiliate or someone from your agency. Thanks for listening. And if you have any questions, please contact your client development manager.